Hello traders, FI Spicoletti here. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my new trading course available to all Gold Patreon members. The link for more information about that is, can be found up here in the corner. So on the Euro dollar monthly, I still think this is going to end up growing into a trend. I do not think this is a crutchen. I have my fib level here, but just to see if it does make a corrective save, but I do believe that it is going to trend probably for a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of A or a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of 1. Either way, whether it's an A or whether it's a 1, it definitely doesn't matter to me. Either scenario, I'm going to be looking for longs in an uptrend on sort of time frames. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, to me, this still looks like one big uptrend, most likely a 1. This is most likely a wave 2, and I still believe that we're in a wave 3. Now, we did have a little resistance at this Fibonacci level, but it definitely didn't give me any reason to think that this was over, and I still think this is more likely to just keep on trending up, making that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of A, or possibly a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of 1. So let's keep going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we definitely had a big push down, but as you will notice, price never did take out Strutzer, never gave us any reason to think that this uptrend was over, and it even made a little bit of a three-way pattern down, so I still think this is more likely to just keep on trending up. Now, we do have FOMC rate news today for the US dollar, so we're definitely going to have to pay attention to that. That usually is a market mover, so let's see what's going to happen for that later today. Like I said, looking at the pattern, it looks like we are already going up. I see impulsive down looks like an A. This looks like it's all very corrective overlapping like a wave B. And this looks to me like a downtrend like a wave C. We have a nice impulsive move up. We have a break of structure. That should prove that the wave C is over. And even though we have news coming out today, it seems like the with the fact that Kretzen is probably already over, it seems that this is more likely to just keep on trending up. So let's take a look at that on the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, this break of Strutzer right here should tell us that this whole downtrend is over. If that downtrend really is a wave C, which it definitely looks like it is, then this will continue the uptrend. Now we have quite a while before the news comes out. We have about seven, eight, nine hours until the news comes out. So if this starts a pullback, which I think it probably will, and then at the end of this pullback, the news comes out, and I would say that the news is very likely to cause this to continue the uptrend, especially looking at the longer time Time frames are all telling me the trend is up. Sort of time frames, I really should just be looking for longs at the end of every single one of these ABC pullbacks. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.